Hi, I'm the Bachelor Farmer Cook, and this is Prep Class. Today we're going to move straight on to carrots, and then we'll tell you a few things about celery, potatoes, and yams. To start with, we're going to talk a little bit about a lot of people when they're dealing with their vegetables, there's a big question about whether or not you're going to peel it or not. Some people believe that if you peel it, you take a lot of the vitamins and whatnot out of the skin. I'm going to let you guys decide that and just show you some of the basic techniques. I do want to mention one thing about your peeler, however, and that's be very careful about these two top parts of your fingers. Sometimes if you move real fast while peeling, you can get a little bit of your thumb or a little bit of that finger, and that can smart really, really good. Remember, bleeding on the food is considered rude. So carrots are pretty basic. Um, they come from these standard sizes into even larger ones. And uh, I'll be honest, the larger ones are easier to deal with when you're trying to do sticks and cubes. Um, but these are the standard ones that we're used to seeing, especially out of your own garden, fresh and ready to go. Now, we're not going to deal with the skin. We're not going to worry about any of that right now. We're going to show you a few of the things that you'll find in your recipe. One of the things is the recipe will say, you want coins um, or coined carrots. Now this is a very easy preparation. Of course, you want to take your tail end off, take your front part off, and then coins are just simply that. It's about a half inch cut. And remember, we don't need to be really quick or fast. We just want to be slow and accurate. The sharpness of our knife will do the work for us. And it's about a half inch, and then you'll have these little round coins that you want. The other one calls for what's called a half moon. And a half moon is very simple also. Again, you're just going to cut it in half, and while cutting it in half, you're going to cut coins. And once you do that, then you have your half moon shapes. So that's your coins. These are your moons. Now let's move on to everybody's favorite, the carrot stick. Now the carrot stick is a little trickier. Again, you want to start with your carrot. Let's take that top off. Let's go ahead and get rid of our bottom. Now for sticks, you're going to want to go ahead and cut it in half. Nice and careful, and you have to be careful with carrots. They can be pretty thick and pretty stubborn. So when trying to cut them a half, especially the larger ones, you won't actually get it in half because it's so thick it kind of slides back and forth. So again, you want to be slow, take your time, be easy with it. Don't be in a hurry. Now we're going to cut them into the smaller size that we like. And then, just very simply, we're going to find the little sticks that we like. And usually I find in most standard carrots, it's about four on these small ones or about six on the larger ones. Sometimes, especially on the smaller ends, it's just a couple of ends. And these are your carrot sticks. Now carrot sticks are good for dipping. Also a lot of different soups and whatnot like them. Now for cube carrots, we're going to start with the stick carrots. And we're just going to line them all up again. And we're just going to give them small little cuts like this. And again, just like we said with the onions, depending on the size of your cuts is going to be how fine your cubing is going to be. And that is your cubed carrots. Now let's go ahead. Now when it comes to potatoes and yams, the techniques are almost exactly the same except they're a little bit larger. There's just a couple of other different little things we want to know about the potato. Now the potato, as you can see, same argument. Do we take the skin off? Do we not take the skin off? Again, I'm going to let you guys decide. It doesn't change the preparation. Now, for potatoes, when you want to do your cubing, when you cut it in half, you want to be careful and cut it a couple of more times. Like here, about a half inch in. And one more time, be careful with this one. It's close to your fingers. Okay, so now you've got these nice pieces. Now these nice pieces you want to go ahead and make sticks out of. And 
And hey, look, congratulations. You've made french fries. Now, some soups will ask you to go ahead and cube it. And this is also good for your stews. And stews usually want bigger sizes, whereas some of your finer soups will want smaller sizes. Now, one of the other interesting things about potatoes is that if you get a grater, you can grate it up. That's your hash browns. But cubed, that's going to be your soups, sticks, that's going to be your french fries. So there you have it. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Carrots and potatoes. And remember, the yams are going to be the exact same way. So join me next time when we're going to go ahead and take a look at some of the uh, cutting techniques for celery. And then we're going to move on later on and we'll tell you an interesting thing about a little thing called mirepoix. Until then, remember, if you get it a little wrong, it's all right, we'll still eat it. And until then, be good, be good at it, and stay out of my cooler.